as a species, we like to dominate rather than be dominated, which is why we are trashing the planet so vigorously. Given we like to be the boss, robots are not going to get very far whipping us into a state of extreme engagement with the vision and mission statements. We need the human touch and we still got a long way to go to just getting on with each other. Welcome back to year four of the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, which we release every Monday. I'm your host, Dr. Greg Story, your corporate coaching and training guy, president of Dale Kanagi Training here in Japan, and best-selling author of Japan Sales Mastery and Japan Business Mastery. We are bringing the show to you from our studio in our high performance center here in Akasaka, in Minatoku, the business center of Tokyo. Why the cutting edge? We are looking at giving you a big edge in business in Japan. Let's all be at the forefront, at the cutting edge of how to flourish here in this market. Here is what caught my attention lately. The pandemic is widening the economic gap in Japan. Economic fallout from the coronavirus pandemic may have widened the gap between the nation's rich and poor. The Isatan department store saw strong sales in jewelry. The primary customers were wealthy regulars and the so-called new rich, including young managers of information technology firms and YouTubers who increased their earnings by taking advantage of the pandemic. Sales of luxury import cars priced over 10 million yen were brisk. Sales totaled 22,712 units in 2020, surpassing the level seen the year before. The 225 issue Nikkei stock average went above 30,000 for the first time in 20 years. Nomura Research Institute estimates the number of wealthy households defined as those who hold net financial assets of more than 100 million yen totaled 1.33 million in 2019. The number of regular employees rose 360,000 in 2020 from a year earlier, but that of non-regular workers dropped 750,000. This is episode number 183, Can Leadership Be Automated? So So let's get going. Basically, your job is toast. There is a machine, or there will soon be a machine, that can do it faster, better and cheaper than you. Our skill set didn't change much from the start of the agricultural era 1200 years ago until the Industrial Revolution in the mid 18th century. The last 150 years have been busy. We've created a weapon that can destroy our race. Who thought we would be that stupid? 50 years ago, we didn't believe machine translation of our complex language skills would get very far. Certainly, it was expected that there would never be non-human intervention, simultaneous interpretation and translation in that area. Also, fortunately, machines can't pivot or anticipate. Well, except for IBM's Deep Blue against Gary Kasparov in 1997. Driving cars and trucks requires us because it is such a delicate, detailed and difficult set of tasks. What a ridiculous idea to imagine replacing those cantankerous, aging Japanese taxi drivers and punch perm truckers here in Tokyo with a self-driving, self-navigating vehicle. In the net of things, Komatsu tractors plowing rice fields by themselves, nah, never happen. 
Apocalypse Now style death from the air requires top gun pilots and chew gumming gunners, doesn't it? Killing each other can't be delegated to drones. Robot vacuum cleaners, programmable pets, hotty droid receptionist, nimble stair climbing machines, adult men, many with passports, waving light sticks at holo holograph vocalist Hatsune Miku, not possible. So what do you tell your kids to do about a career? Where will they still be needed? and not ditched by some circuit board on wheels. Actually, we are not so keen about handing over accountability to machines. Moral and ethical judgments, the buck stops here, business decisions, hiring and firing, employment protocols, creative brainstorming. There is a long list of actions which will always require people to be involved. Today, we don't follow people who don't respect, we don't respect, regardless of where they sit on the organizational chart. We may genuflect in their general direction because they have a pompous title, but we don't commit our brain and our blood to them. Machines are not going to get that leadership gig unless they are leading other machines. Uh, uh oh. We need the human interaction, to hear stories, to share experiences, to be motivated, to aspire together against the rival firm, to set and follow our organization's vision and mission. We want empathy, collaboration, a sense of ownership, relationships. Find out more when we come back from the break. If you want to become a fully competent and confident presenter, then do the High Impact Presentations course. We are all being judged when we speak, be it in the internal team meeting or in a public environment. Be it the big bosses, clients, or an industry audience, everyone is evaluating us. Don't blow it. Get the best training on the planet. Do the High Impact Presentations course now in either Japanese or English. doing business with Japan? Do you really know how things work? Japan Business Mastery provides the answers. Do you have the right networks and know how to create them? Do you know how to get on the same wavelength with Japanese buyers? Do you know what being trustworthy looks like from the Japanese perspective? Japan Business Mastery is based on more than 30 years experience in Japan and will become your go-to guide. Want to succeed in Japan? Buy Japan Business Mastery now. Welcome back. Jeff Colvin, in his book, Humans Are Underrated, references a recent Oxford economic study asking employers which staff skills they will need the most over the next five to 10 years. The answers we're not a reading from the left brain hymn book of PL and balance sheet analyses, portfolio planning, strategic assumptions, run rate calculations, etc. The top priorities were all right brain, relationship building, teaming, co creativity, brainstorming, cultural sensitivity, and the ability to manage diverse employees. So, if you are a whiz on the macros on spreadsheets, doing numeric based research, anything machine like, then start worrying. Henry Ford complained that every time he wanted a pair of human hands on his assembly line, he got a brain attached. Today, we want that brain that can feel as well as think. Being more machine like than machines is an onto nothing, hiding to nothing. We have to be good at being human and good in our interactions with other humans. Colvin noted, being a great performer is becoming less about what you know and more about what you're like. Interestingly, between 1990 and 2009, empathy scores for US college students have declined by nearly 15%. 
From the trend of these scores, we seem to be educating people toward the wrong direction. Here is the challenge for typical male CEO driver types who are assertive and task not people oriented. How to lead organizations where technical skill is being outsourced to bots and the value of human interaction has become more critical to the success of the organization. Do you ignore it or do you decide to change? How do you change? I hope you enjoyed today's show. And so please subscribe on YouTube. Share with your family, friends and colleagues. Become a regular. Our website details are on screen now, enjapan.dalecunny.com. It's awesome value, so please check it out. We try to offer as much value as possible, so you might also enjoy our other shows. In fact, we are releasing content six days a week for podcasts, Mondays for the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, Tuesday for the Presentations Japan Series, and every second Tuesday for the Business Touches You Know or Share Show, Wednesdays for the Sales Japan Series, Thursdays for the Leadership Japan Series, every second Thursday for the Business Pro Podcast Show, Fridays for the Japan Business Mastery Show, and Saturdays for Japan's top business interviews, wherever you get your podcast. Also, every second Thursday, we release the Business Pro Television Show, every Friday, the Japan Business Mastery Show, and every Saturday, Japan's top business interviews on YouTube. We appreciate your support. Please let others know about it so they can benefit too. We want to make a contribution to helping people build their careers and businesses. And please join us in that endeavor. In episode 184, we are talking about how to defeat imposter syndrome as a presenter. So, Yoroshiku, onegai itashimasu. Please join me for the next episode of the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. We are here to help you. I've only got one direction in mind for you and your business, and that is up.